Hello, it's Jen Bengel here from Out of This World Literacy. I've been asked over and over again by several teachers how they can motivate their reluctant students and readers. It seems to be an issue that many teachers are struggling with, so I thought I would take a minute and chat about some thoughts around reading motivation. Take these ideas and run with them to help encourage your reluctant readers. This is one of the questions I get. What one piece of advice would you give to increase a student's reading motivation? And before I give you my one piece of advice, let me just break down what motivation motivates readers. There's really two big types of motivation. There's an intrinsic motivation that our readers have. This is the readers who will usually say, well, I read because I really enjoy it. I just love reading. If you ask them why they're reading, those are kind of the things that they'll say. They have an intrinsic or motivation from the inside. The, t- the second type of motivation is the extrinsic motivation. If you ask your reluctant readers why they're reading, they'll most likely say things like, well, I have to, or you told me I had to, or I'll get in trouble if I don't. They're extrinsically motivated to read. So there's sort of some someone else is telling them they have to do this. It doesn't come from within them. So really, it's not enough just to be a reader, but what are you motivated to be a reader for? Do you have that intrinsic motivation or is it an extrinsic motivation? motivation. And there's a lot of research out there that shows kids who are extrinsically motivated tend to do more poorly on reading and reading progress and making more achievement than the kids who are intrinsically motivated. So how do we get them intrinsically motivated? One of the things that you can do is use the social motivation as a factor. Kids love to be around other kids. They love to talk to their friends. If you watch them on the playground or at recess or in the lunchroom or at gym class, they're always chatting with their friends. It's hard to keep them from talking in the hallways and all that good stuff. Use that to your advantage to build their motivation, their intrinsic motivation for reading. Set up times for them to interact with their friends while discussing books. Use book clubs, literature circles, have discussions with them and get them to be able to to be actively involved in having a social relationship with literature. If you can tie that social motivation into reading, you'll start building an intrinsic motivation right there. I hope this chat helps you think about the different types of reading motivation and how we as teachers can work on building that intrinsic desire for reading. In episode 80, I'll be sharing four ideas for building intrinsic reading motivation even more. It's been my pleasure chatting with you today. Know that I am the biggest fan of the work that you and your students are doing in the classroom. If you'd like more teaching tips, you can check out out of this world literacy.com. Until next time, you've got this.